All right, double letters in Spanish. I'm going to teach you a super simple and effective way to always remember which letters could possibly be double letters in Spanish. Now, luckily there aren't that many. There's only four, in fact. And I'm passing this down from my first ever Spanish teacher, Senora Downey from Peru. So she'll be happy that I'm sharing this knowledge with you guys. Whenever we're thinking, oh, could this be a double letter? I want us to remember Carolina, this beautiful name. C-R-L-N, the four consonants here. We get rid of the vowels in between, the ones in color. These are the only letters in Spanish that can be doubled up. Okay, these four consonants. La C, la R, la L, y la N. The C-R-L-N. All right, Carolina. It's always, we're going to come back to this to remember. So, double C example. El diccionario. La lección. The dictionary and the election in a political sense. Or just choice. Fue una mala elección. It was a bad choice. And notice here as well, just a reminder, in Latin America, the C is uh, pronounced like a C, but in Spain, it's a C. So in Spanish, Spain, Castellano, this would be el diccionario, diccionario. In Latin America, diccionario. Notice the difference. And also pronunciation here. Yes, these two letters are together, but they're kind of separate if you can hear it. Diccionario. La elección. So the C here is a hard C, followed by a softer one. Double R. This is all about letting go, guys. R, r, r. It's hard. It takes it takes some time to get used to it, but just keep practicing. El horror. Silent H, double R. Horror, the horror. Aburrido. See, I didn't do that too well. Aburrido. Aburrida. Aburrida. It's difficult. Bored. Masculine, fem feminine here. As a man, estoy aburrido. I'm bored. L, the double L, llamar, la llave. So notice here in most countries, the double L is pronounced the ya, ya, llamar, la llave. To call, the infinitive here, the verb, AR in the end, an AR verb, to call, llamar, llave means key. And the double L in Argentina or Uruguay is pronounced sh, llamar, la llave. It's quite a fun one to get used to. And finally, double N. This one, if you know any other double N ones, put them in the comments because I, I found it hard to think of some, but I remembered innecesario, innecesaria adjective. Fue una elección innecesaria. The A feminine agrees with elección, la elección feminine there as well. It was an unnecessary election. So again here, quite simple to pronounce, but they do exist. And so whenever you're thinking, oh, could this be a double letter? Carolina. C-R-L-N. If it's not one of those, there's no chance it's a double letter. And yes, we might find instances where it could be a single R or a double R. Common example is perro, but, and perro, dog. All right. It could be one of those two. But at least you know if it's one of these with Carolina, or it could be a double letter or it might not be. And that's that presentation. I hope you found that useful. I do have another video here for you about when to use accents. Could be quite useful. Show you some top tips on when to remember uh, to use accents and when not to. So please do like this video. Share it around. Make sure you subscribe. Any comments, leave them below. Any questions, feedback, let me know. And keep practicing Spanish. It's the best thing you can do. Hasta luego. Ciao.